because if you don't do cream cheese icing, you're wrong. <laughs> Here's my yeast. Hey, hey Lottie. Is that this is empty oh, yeast? Really? Looks like you're suffering some executive dysfunction. Okay, you might even got my mom to laugh in the background at that. How dare you? You want to see what's really empty? Oh, my sugar canister. It's like usually. When I bake and stuff, I have my headphones and I listen to like Icon for Hire really <laughs> loudly. And my headphones, that feels like really antisocial and not what we're going for here. So, but that's not to say if you want to be antisocial, you can't. Go on, be antisocial, you little introvert, you. I, I will. Thank you. All right, so guys, we still want one cup of milk and we want it to be lukewarm. I like to bend down so I can get exact measurements because I'm strange. Are these microwave safe? They should be. Okay. Here's hoping. Yes. I want to say we're going to start with 15 seconds. And you always want to do like 15 second intervals until you get the desired place of heat, level of heat. Um, but don't quote me on that. Quote my father. <laughs> and if he's wrong, it's not my fault. I can't blame Lottie's dad. Johan. Woohoo! According to the recipe, which I will of course link below in the description box, I'm using Joe Cook's Make It Home Cinnabon recipe. Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. I've never made this recipe. It is first time for me as well. We're learning together, everyone. It's lukewarm. Is this? It still feels kind of cold, and I would not recommend sticking your finger in the milk because that's just wrong for so many reasons. <laughs> It's only been 30 seconds. I'm gonna give it like another 15 and we'll see if 45 is enough spread out over like. It's like 45 seconds, but it's still spread out over a couple minutes now. Uh, the first step you're going to do is you are going to put the yeast and the lukewarm milk together in a bowl for five minutes. Once it started frothing, that's how you know it's ready. You're also gonna take a teaspoon from this, from this half cup of sugar and you're gonna put it in here. So it's again one cup of lukewarm milk in a large bowl. And then you want two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. So we're putting the yeast in now. It's one. Two. Also, isn't it weird that yeast is a live organism? What? Yeah, yeast is a living microorganism. It's an active live thing. And then a quarter. So two and a quarter teaspoons. Half teaspoon of sugar. So we're going to set this aside. So you're gonna need a third cup of butter. So we want it, I use unsalted, that's my preference. You can use um, salted, you will have, to, if you use salted when the recipe calls for unsalted, you're gonna have to increase your sugar intake just a little bit, not too much. And I don't like doing that much math. So this has to be softened, so we are going to stick it in a bowl in the microwave for like 10 seconds, maybe 15, depending on how much I have to soften it. It's beautiful. All right, we're gonna stick it in the microwave. Let's start with 10 seconds. Alright, this needs a little bit more because it's kind of still hard on top. Also, if you make sure you continuously like have your hands thoroughly washed and cleansed when you bake, that's why you can poke the butter because you're not transferring germs. I'm going to give mine another 15. I usually end up having to do between 20 and 30 seconds to get it fully soft. Not melted, just softened. Squishy. Yes. Sometimes I cheat and I'm like, I guess we're just gonna do completely melted. But um, I've never done this recipe before, and it's also my first YouTube video, so I'm gonna follow the recipe. Oh, I didn't measure this correctly. No, I forgot to cut it to a one third cup. So, no, no. Rip in pieces. Okay. And this is not what you should do, but you know, I skipped a step, so don't do that in me, please. Alright, one third cup is about here. Okay. And now, because I up, we're gonna take our butter dish 
Are we just gonna stab this and stick it on there? <laughs> no one will know. I'm lazy, y'all. You knew this. It's in the title. There's a rainbow on your face and it's beautiful. It's exposing me. I mean, but I came out like three years ago, so. Woo! Hello, I'm queer. What's up? There it is. Grab a spatula, guys. Grab a spatula, are your friends. Alright, that one's good. But to clean. We're gonna have to bleep out so many square words. <laughs> I may have mentioned it in my intro video too, but if I didn't, hello, I swear. A lot. Much to my mother's dismay. <laughs> I think I add the sugar as well. The Yeah, you add the rest of the sugar that you took the half teaspoon out of. I feel like it's frothing a little. It froth. We're gonna say it froth. And then mm. I need eggs and flour. So two eggs. You can break it on a bowl, you can break it on the flat of your counter, you can break it with a knife. If I do it on the counter, I get eggshells everywhere. Can I break it with my telekinesis? If you have telekinesis, I don't see why not. Hell yeah. As long as you're careful not to get eggshells in the mix. Don't do it the way I just did it. It's bad, but I couldn't do it any other way. And egg. And first I want to mix the mo get the mixture all together so it's a little wet and moist so I hate that word so I can get um, a good mixture going when I add the flour. Keep in mind you don't have to do this with the KitchenAid as long as you've got some mixer beater. Electric hand mix. <sighs> what if you have a whisk and big muscles? I mean, honestly, like props to you, y'all, because that's amazing. <laughs> All right, I gotta go a little higher because my butter is not quite. You steam too much in this world. <laughs> You've been battle hardened. <laughs> not as soft as you should be. Occasionally, you will have to, you know, stick the butter the back spatula in so you can beat, fold things back down and try again. Where's the cup? There's the cup. And we're gonna do four. Not one, not two, not three, but four. Four cups of flour. Beautiful. That's not four cups of flour. Oh. Again, I scoop mine with my flatten it with my finger because I wash my hands. Wash your hands. Impeach him. Can we in apricot him? In guava him? Alright, I have two cups of flour in there. I need to get the other bag. Noah. So you should be, as the kids say, Gucci. I forget. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like the kids say it ironically and now, and then we have the old people coming in and being like, oh, this is the word, Gucci, and it's like, please stop. At this point, I don't think I do anything ironically anymore. I'm just... <laughs> yeah, remember when you started finger gunning? Listen, we don't need to bring that up. You got it banned from your apartment in Chicago. Listen, like I said, we don't need to bring up hey, my past mistakes. You know what? How about this, guys? If we get a thousand views in like a month, is that too? Is that too ambitious? I have no idea. You know what? Let's see if we can get a thousand views in a month and like three comments. Savannah will explain how they got finger oh, guns banned from their Chicago apartment. Oh my goodness. Okay, you don't want it to be like oof, flower. Like, just kind of happened. This is some good mixing action. We are going to now switch to... Okay, this is where the KitchenAid comes in handy. I'm not saying you need the KitchenAid, because God knows I may do with that one for a long time. But I now have to switch to my dough hook. So... Nice. Y'all, without one, mix as best you can, and then you're gonna... I would just start kneading by hand. We're gonna start mixing. Hold on. <laughs> Increase speed so we could get a lot of the drier stuff to mix in with it. And I'm gonna say that's pretty good and turn it off. And now we're gonna check for the next step. I wanna mix well, guys, so it's mixed well. All right, here's the deal. I keep saying guys, and that's because if I say y'all at work, I will get looks. But I mean y'all, okay? Y'all. Because not all of you are what yours you present as. So y'all. I'm not. I'm they. Woo! So is so 
is our videographer, our Yeet. wonderful camera person. Well, well thanks. We're going to place the dough into an oiled bowl. And I'm going to get vegetable oil because I'm not putting olive oil on this. So I don't want to pour a whole lot in, so we're just going to do maybe a capful, half a capful. And then we will just spread it around like so. Mmm, yeah. That's, that's, that's the good shit right there. Oh, by the way, I told did I tell you I have a new pun to describe myself? Hmm. Flirtatious. <laughs> Beautiful. I want to get it on a shirt now. Yes. It's but then, first then, yeah, but then I'm kind of like, it's like, does that count? Because I'm demi. Because it's its mm. own thing, but it is a subtype. So. Yeah. So for my viewers, please don't flip me. I'm demisexual. It's a subtype of asexuality. Woo. I can do more on it if you want to. We had a little brush. I don't know where the little brush went. Okay, so we're gonna... Wow, it's sticky. Oh my god, it's so sticky. You wanna come and hold, hold it for me? Okay. Oh, no, I just don't have to roll into ball. I just gotta cover and let it rise for about an hour or so. So the dough has doubled in size. So... Doubled? Oh my god. So that's good. like what, gonna fill the entire bowl? Jesus. Okay. I may have picked. That was a nice sound. I think I picked too small a bowl, I will not lie. But I'm going to flatten it down a bit, so we're going to see. We're going to cover it and put it in a warm place, so near the stove. Sufficiently toasty, I, I would assume. Yeah, I don't have it on, but you mean, I mean, it's insulated, so. <laughs> the thought that counts, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's how baking works. Mm -hmm. I have a nice put nap. a timer on for an hour. There we go. Hey guys. So as you know, we just had to let the dough rise for an hour or a little more. We did a little more. And now you just want to lightly grease or butter, I prefer to butter, your pan. The recipe calls for 9 by 13, but um, I don't have one. So we're going to make do with our 8 by 8. And since I know I'm going to have leftovers, we have a second pan left the best standby. Because that's what every baking channel needs. Is you basting butter onto a pan. Look, I have thoughts on many things, including chivalry, because it started off as a sexist thing, because it'd be like the guards or whatever opening the castle gates for the people, like the woman in question they were protecting. And it's not because she was, they were too heavy for her. No, no. It's, or not because they were like trying to be polite. No, no, no. It's because they thought she's too dainty and feminine. She can't open this little tiny door by herself. Now we move on to the filling, and the filling calls for one cup of brown sugar. I believe it calls for, you know, it doesn't say dark or light, so we're gonna go with, go with what you have. I have, what is this, dark, even though it looks light. I'm always confused by that. My sugar's a little hard right now, so hold on. I don't recommend doing this. This is just me being impatient. I mean, Whatever works, right? So, one cup packed. Again, wash your hands. All right, it, does, it doesn't say firmly packed or lightly packed, so my usual inclination is to go for a little bit more firmly packed. Squoosh it. Is that better or worse? Squoosh it. No, not squish. Squoosh. 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 I also just like to make up words. I know. Squash it. Oh, no, that's terrible. <laughs> All right. You know what? That's pretty good. I also packed it very firmly, so we have a lot of sugar in there. You gotta firmly grasp it after you firmly. There's so Pack many it. sex jokes from That's that a thing. SpongeBob reference! Yeah, okay. it's SpongeBob! Okay, yeah. so we have one cup of, of, I went for firmly packed, you can do loosely packed or medium packed, your preference, your call. One cup of packed brown sugar. Wow, it does not want to come out. There it is. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamons. I love cinnamon so much. Like, I don't think I can fully explain how much I love cinnamon. Can I fit this in here? Ugh, I wish they had like 4D for computers still, so that people could smell how amazing this is. Three tablespoons of cinnamon. So we're just gonna grab a little fork and we're just gonna, you know, briefly mix those together a little better. Party, party hard. 
I would just eat that. Not even gonna lie. No, that's fair. I probably would too. I should let you guys know right now, I am not formally trained. I just started baking when I was in high school because I needed to get rid of stress. A clean, dry surface so you can flour it and roll out your dough. That was satisfying. It was. An absolute unit. But you always want to make sure you have your rolling pin cut floured because it's really sticky dough and it will stick and it'll mess up the texture and the aim of what you're going for. I'm gonna say that's pretty good. So as I said to Savannah, my butter has been out for several hours, several meaning like two hours. So it's been defrosting the whole time, not defrosting, softening. It's been softening the whole time. So I don't have to put it in for too long. It's pretty melted right now. So you can see. Oh, you got too close to that. Yeah, mm. We're gonna pour it out just a little bit at a time. And we're gonna start to brush it. If you're not following us on our Instagram or Twitter, you should because we post sneak peeks behind the scenes the day before we upload and you can, we never tell you what we're making, but you can guess. Nice. And if you guess right, I'll give you a shout out. Woohoo! Hey, okay, everyone, if we again, you know, hit maybe like 10 subscribers, <laughs> we will have, you know, first <laughs> month, because I'm not aiming too high, I don't think, with that. Savannah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Savannah will do, well, A, if we hit a thousand views in our first month, Savannah mm -hmm. will tell you the story of how she they got finger guns banned from their Chicago apartment. But oh, nice. B, if we hit 10 subscribers in the first month, Savannah will do what? an Irish accent. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't have to do the story, but you have to do the accent. Oh, the Scottish one. The Scottish like, one, I, yes. Hmm, okay. Is that okay? Good for you, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I, I don't think I need the full one-third cup, I'm not gonna lie. It's cinnamon time. Excellent. I like to use my fingers, get down and gritty with it. Cause I don't know, it's just fun. Also texture. Texture is great. Heck yeah. Mmm, look at that. Look at that. I wanna eat it right now. We get to eat this when it's done. Yeah, we are gonna start to roll this now. Ooh, exciting. Slowly, carefully start to roll. You're gonna wanna roll from the long edge like the recipe says. Um, like I just said to Savannah, I have excess, you know, filling and butter left over, so I'm going to roll that on, put that on top of my dough. You know, the recipe does not call for it, but I have excess, so why not? The recipe says to cut it in one and a half inch little ones. You can use a knife, you can use a floss. I don't know why you would use floss, unless it's not dental floss, in which case, ignore me. That is probably not one and a half inches, but I'm very bad at measurements. Oh, here, I'll move this so you can see. I was getting a corner. Oh, I thought you were trying to, like, see what I was cutting to do with the cutting. Oh, I was getting some angles in there. My bad. No, it's all good. It's Gucci. I hate you. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to put some more butter and the last of the sugar on top of this. And then we're going to cover them and let them rise for another half hour. And then I will stick them in the oven and make the cream cheese frosting and then yeah i still have so much butter left over jesus christ butter it up <laughs> butter 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 there's still so much gosh i wish there was a way you could live off of just smells because it smells We cover them with, again, I could do a clean wrap or I could do saran wrap or foil, and I choose saran wrap. So, this is going to be set for 30 minutes. So, as soon as I get this one wrapped, I will start the timer. And in those 30 minutes, I will preheat the oven. Alright, so, they have been sitting wrapped for 30 minutes. I don't think they've gotten any bigger. And now, yes. we are going to stick them in the oven. For, it says 20 minutes, you know, but it also says it differs per oven and everything. I usually like to do five minutes lesser because I usually have my oven sitting a little longer. However, this time, we're still going to start with like, not 15, but let's go with 17 and a half. And we'll see how that goes. Mm. Right. Hello, my darlings. It is time to make the frosting. Mm. Shiny. Six tablespoons of... Butter. 
You know what? Oh, that was a good sound. So, six tablespoons of butter and four, what, what, what is it? A quarter cup of cream cheese. There we go. Now we'll do it. I want to do a little bit more cream cheese because look at the size difference between the oh, butter and the cream cheese. Nah, son. So, this is me breaking away from the recipe because I don't like how that looks. That should do. And we will stick this in the fridge. But it says one and a half cups of powdered sugar. And here's the thing, fam. I don't like doing the amount of powdered sugar that most recipes call for because it makes it so sweet. So I do powdered sugar to taste, and you should too. If you like super sweet, I mean, you're wrong, but go for it. <laughs> a half teaspoon of vanilla. Mm, tasty. And it smells so good. A teaspoon of salt it called for. We're gonna just blend this a little bit first, and then blend, mix. And then, you know, we'll add the powdered sugar. I would probably do a little less than a full cup. That does not look like enough. For those two pans? Yeah. Mm, no, it does not. No, it doesn't. So what the f We're just gonna eyeball it and do more because that does not look right. Which means I'll have to put a little bit, a little bit more of the vanilla and the salt in, yeah. That's all good in the hood. Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> you know, a lot of people have asked and we still don't know the answer. I don't think we ever will. Okay, so they're rising nicely. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're not quite golden yet. So we're gonna close that and give them the remaining six and a half minutes. That's all. To eat them right now. Yeah. <laughs> Fling the butter, Kronk. I did not measure that. I cannot tell you how much that was. Mmm, I could use a little more sugar. They are very cinnamony. Excellent. What should I say? Don't, Eggs. Don't. Delicious. No! Mmm, the jingle. What one? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yes. So we are gonna give um, three more minutes. and then I'm gonna frost it with this wonderful, wonderful cream cheese frosting, yeah. which I have mastered by this point. Now it is time to frost, and I'm not wearing my apron, but you can see that I'm a Slytherin. You're welcome. <laughs> You need to flip it, because I want to see your reaction. Give me, actually, just give me the flip. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Have you died? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, lovelies, and thank you so much for watching our first video. I'm so glad you liked it. I hope you liked it. Hit the subscribe button and check back for our video in a couple weeks where we will do our next recipe that we have not picked yet. But thank you for watching and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye!